What is up guys? So in this video I'm going to talk a bit about my personal journey on how to equalize head down because I struggled a lot. I, could, uh, I couldn't equalize and it took me months and months and um, I want to share with you my story on how I actually managed to eventually equalize heads down and I think this can be interesting for you because there's a lot of students who can hold their breath for a long time but they simply can't equalize in the beginning of their freediving journey and it can be a little bit frustrating it can take your motivation away if this takes too long but know that this is this can happen you know this is normal and uh, look at me it took me months to equalize head down so there's always hope and uh, in this video I'm gonna talk about it the different things I did to eventually be able to equalize head down coming up what is up guys a few powerful tips in this video on how to equalize heads down my personal journey if you are new to this channel my name is Gert Leroy helping you master freediving and honestly when I started freediving my life has simply changed for the better freediving gave me a space a way to relax my mind and let go of all my tension I have found my peace and now I want you to find your peace through the practicing of freediving so if you like the idea consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so a couple of years back I think about five years or something I was doing my first freediving course at the headquarters of uh, Apnea Total in Koh Tao in Thailand and I absolutely loved it but I couldn't equalize right after the duck dive so I did my duck dive and I immediately noticed I couldn't equalize so I tried out different things my instructor showed me different methods uh, tips and tricks didn't work so we switch to feet first. And that worked wonderfully. I mean, I didn't even have to think about equalizing. It just happened automatically. I think back then I just swallowed. So I pinched my nose and I swallowed and I could equalize. And I remember that only after my fourth session in the water, I was already going down to 30 meters. My PB after only four sessions in the water was 30 meters but it was feet first and when I tried head first I couldn't equalize a single time after many many sessions I could maybe equalize a couple of times and with a lot of effort maybe I could do eight nine ten meters but that was it so then I met up with other free divers and other instructors and coaches and I was determined to make this work you know so one of the first things I did to make equalization head first easier or at least within reach was starting to dive horizontally so I got away from the typical line diving which is vertical and I started what we call in free diving fun diving so you do your duck dive and you just start swimming horizontally in the water look at the fish look at everything that's around you enjoy the water enjoy the underwater landscape and when your mind is taken off equalization and your body is horizontally you're neither feet first or head first you're horizontally it worked so that was already a first step towards head first equalization instead of only being able to equalize feet down I could now hold my feet somewhere in the middle which is a horizontal position this worked so then the next step was to from here go a little bit more head down not totally but just a little bit and see if I could equalize and that worked as well and if at some point equalization stopped then I went back to the horizontal position oh I can equalize equalize yeah works well oh I can't equalize anymore go back to the horizontal position and by playing with this by playing with this a lot I eventually became more comfortable in equalization because equalization is not just a, a technical thing you know you have to convince yourself that you can do it you have to be sure everything is possible in your life when you believe when you believe everything is possible now although this was already a huge improvement it was still not the vertical head down position this still didn't work so what was the next thing I tried to do okay so by analyzing myself looking at myself on videos I noticed that I was in the typical banana position so when you arch your back when you're looking down your whole neck muscles are tensed up and it's difficult to equalize so it took me quite some time to get into a position that was straight because in my mind when I was in the banana position I was in a straight position but that is not how I how it was in reality 
So I had to exaggerate a lot doing the opposite of the banana position. So instead of arching your back, I was crunching forwards like if you're sitting on a chair upside down. So in my mind, this was pretty ridiculous to dive like this. But when I looked at myself afterwards on video, I saw that I was pretty much in a straight position. So straight position makes it way more easier to equalize head down than an overarched banana position. So of course, you can't figure this out yourself. You need a coach who points this out for you. you need a coach that tells you what are you doing wrong so if you hook up with an instructor or a coach make sure this person knows how to deal with hard-headed people like me or maybe like yourself because if my coach would just simply tell me hey you're in a banana position you're overarching I wouldn't even believe it because in my mind I was in a straight position so I really had to see the video okay so that worked better but still not what I wanted so I needed something else to make this equalization work. By the way, we're still talking about Valsalva. So all of this, what I'm talking about here right now is Valsalva equalization. So you're using your uh, abdomen to push air from the lungs towards your uh, mouth and, um, and nasal cavity to equalize. What did I need to make this work? Well, this was just trial and error, you know. I'm not saying that this is the magical tip I'm giving you here and that you have to do this. I'm just documenting on what I did to make it work. So when I lowered my jaw a bit and put it a little forward, like this. Then it made a huge difference. Then when I was imagining blowing through the nose like you do in Valsalva, my ears popped. And that's how I learned how to equalize head first on Valsalva. So first, feet first, then horizontal and then vertical by using my jaw, dropping it, putting it forward. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions about equalization, let me know in the comments. That's it, guys. Peace in every breath.